What is going on YouTube? It's Tuesday and that means it's time for another What Sold video. This is where I show you the top items that I sold this past week so that you can be on the lookout for them when you're out hitting up those thrift stores and garage sales. Honestly, this week started off really slow, but I did something about it. I went to eBay and I promoted all my listings at 5%, so it definitely increased the sales, but it also increased the fees. Check it out. Oh, bro, seriously? So here's another brand you want to be on the lookout for. If you ever see this little duck logo, that's duck's back. And I'll put a better picture up here. But this is a like a bright orange hunting shirt. And I'm not sure duck's back is around anymore because everything I find is made in the USA. It's vintage and it always sells really well. I paid $4.75 for this shirt from Goodwill and it sold in a couple of weeks on eBay for $32.50. Not a huge sale, but this brand, Scentsy, is something that you kind of need to be on the lookout for. They make these wax warmers and a lot of people collect them. So when they're discontinued or they're not making a certain line anymore, they become more and more valuable. Like I've, I've actually sold a Disney one for over $100. This one is a like a metal watering can. It's called Rustic Garden. It's not one of the high-end ones, but I paid $3 for it at Goodwill and it sold for $30. So I actually picked up two pair of these Vionic slip-on shoes. They're kind of a newer brand for me, but they're really popular apparently. Picked up two pair, they were the exact same model. The only difference was the color. I had a pair of black ones and I've got these gray ones. Paid $3 a pair at a little thrift store. Listed both of them for $45. The black ones sold in about a week for full price on eBay. These have been sitting for several weeks after that. Finally got an offer for $36 and I decided to take it. Three into 36 isn't too bad. So yeah, be on the lookout for Vionics, but apparently color matters. So I've kind of got a new motto that I've adopted and that's stay curious. And that's the reason that I find a lot of the things that I sell because I'm curious. And this is one example. This is a Night Eyes multi-pack. It's a pack of accessories for a mini flashlight, like a AA GoPro. It's got a fiber optic adapter, a magnetic clip, a headband, different things. And it was made in the USA, new in the package, so I was curious about it. I decided to look it up on eBay. Sure enough, it was bringing some pretty good money. They only wanted a dollar for it, so I grabbed it. Paid a dollar for it, and it sold for 30 on eBay. So yeah, stay curious. So this is my first time finding these sandals and they feel really flimsy, really cheap, really light. They're very similar to Crocs. They don't even feel as good as Crocs, but they apparently are. These are UFOs. Like I said, I've never found them before. You can see the name there and there's the logo on the side. I paid $3 for them from the Salvation Army. And these little cheapo things sold for $35 on eBay. Just to show you guys how light these UFOs are, they weigh eight ounces. I mean, that's nothing. They're definitely going first class. I love finding these things. This is a Rainmate IL and they sell super quick. I paid $4 for this one from the Salvation Army. It's like a vaporizer room freshener thingy. I think the only way you can get it is to have like an at home demonstration done for the rainbow vacuum cleaner. And I guess that makes it pretty exclusive. Or I guess you could buy one off of eBay or find one at a thrift store like I did. But I paid $4 for it from the Salvation Army, listed it and it sold in three days for $55.55. Had it listed for, I believe, 60 and a buyer sent me a weird offer. I decided to take it for a quick flip. More estate sale video games. Paid $5 a piece for these original PlayStation games. I've got Spyro the Dragon, Spyro Year of the Dragon, and Spyro Ripto's Rage. So it's like the first through third edition of all the Spyros. I decided to lot them all together in one lot instead of selling each one individually. And they all sold for $64.50, paid $15 like I said. And they actually sold to the Global Shipping Program on eBay, so pretty good sale. So just when I think Facebook is dead and it's not like a viable marketplace anymore, these guys sell. And they sold for $64. I paid $5 for this pair of M4 Viper Roller Derby roller skates at a garage sale. Like I said, they sold for $64. I had just cross-listed them to it. They've been on eBay forever. Cross-listed them to Facebook and they sold in a couple of days. So I guess Facebook is still okay. 
and also be on the lookout for skates. They can sell for some really good money if you find the right ones. So this is one of those things where you buy it because it's cool, bring it home, get it listed. It takes forever to sell, so you kind of regret buying it. But then when it actually sells, you feel kind of happy that you bought it. Well, this is a perfect example. This is a classic Team Lotus. It's like the history of Lotus racing on a poster. Really cool frame, does have a couple of blemishes, but I only paid $5 for it. I actually bought a bundle of like five of them from a garage sale, paid $25, so $5 into it. Finally sold, sold for 125 bucks. So now I'm actually pretty happy that I bought it. You guys may have seen this in my last video, but are you looking up old software? I mean, if you ever see this old IBM logo or that colorful Macintosh logo, you definitely want to look them up. This software had been sitting at my Goodwill so long that it had gone half price, paid $2 for it, and it sold in like three days for $165. It's IBM Visual Age for COBOL, and I have no idea what any of that means. Just happened to look it up because I know how to look up old software and it turned out pretty good. So this past week, I had probably one of the best golf club hauls that I've ever had in my entire life. It, it was amazing. And I'm definitely going to go over that in a future video. But right now, I just want to share with you some of the highlights of some of the ones that have already sold so that you can kind of get to know some of the brand names so that you can be on the lookout for them. This is a tailor-made M2 driver. These are definitely good clubs to be on the lookout for. They go all the way from like M1 to I think M4 or 5 now. And they also have really good value paid two dollars for this club and it sold for 145 i'll pay 97 cent for it this is a tailor-made rescue it's like a two hybrid cool thing is it's actually adjustable you loosen the screw there and you can change the loft here on the uh, hosel pretty cool club i almost wanted to keep it but paid 97 cent for it and it sold for 55 on ebay another club cleveland launcher dst3 wood paid a dollar 97 for it from the epic golf club hall and it sold for 44 dollars on facebook marketplace this is a tailor-made rbz tour 3 wood this would have been one of the ones that was 97 cent and it sold for 67 dollars so two more real quick just because they sold as i was editing this video this is a titleist 915h it's a three hybrid Paid 97 cent for it and it sold for $55 on eBay. This is a Ping Rapture, kind of an older model. It's a three wood, paid $1.97 for it and it sold for 48 on eBay. And as you can see, all this stuff sold really fast. So be on the lookout for these brands. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll see you next time.